So I don't know if this would be considered bullying or not. I had a job. It was a pretty good job. I, it was the highest salary that I've ever earned in a job uh, where I worked for a high-end furniture showroom and basically I was responsible for keeping it you know, in shape, keeping it looking right, <sighs> moving stuff around, taking care of maintenance issues, keeping all the inventory in, in order of all the furniture and accessories that we carried in that showroom. So once or twice a year, there would be a major refresh where the vice president of design of the company would come and work with me and a team of her people um, to move stuff around and refresh the entire showroom just to update it. So uh, I was working with her and her team and uh, I heard her basically talking about me and kind of laughing at me behind my back. She didn't realize there was this little wall, display wall thing, and she was, you know, behind it, and I was on the other side, and I heard her making fun of me, talking about my glasses and how I walk around, you know, squinting. She was clearly uh, imitating me. She, she, uh, <laughs> she, she, uh, she was like, oh, that's why he, he walks around like this all the time. And then she was laughing. And then um, suddenly um, it got really quiet. Like, it just got really quiet. And then somebody, like, peeked around the wall and they saw me standing there. And so... It was just extremely awkward. She clearly was laughing at me, making fun of me, and she didn't know that I was right there, so I heard her. So, uh, yeah. Then um, I said something to her. I tried to sort of play it off because I was embarrassed, and I kind of just wanted the situation to go away, so kind of ignoring it. Um, I just asked her a question about something in general and she wouldn't even look at me and her face was bright red. She answered the question without looking at me bright red. So it was clear that she knew what had happened. She knew that she, that I heard her making fun of me and she was embarrassed and felt stupid about it. So, um, yeah, so, I mean, I kind of played it off the best I could for the remainder of her visit with us. And then afterward, I just got, I mean, I have been working so hard. I was coming in the weekends. It wasn't, you know, my job to come in on weekends, but I was coming in weekends. I was running around physically moving stuff, lifting stuff, super organized, working very, very hard, totally exhausted and emotionally drained after that whole thing and I just felt I don't know I felt really hurt and I felt really angry but more than feeling angry at her I felt angry for myself for not saying something for not speaking up and saying hey I just heard what you said and standing up for myself and confronting her you know, in a professional way, and just saying, I heard, I heard that. And I just, to this day, that's my biggest regret about that situation, is not standing up for myself. And then, on top of all that, I ended up quitting that job. I just got more and more dissatisfied. It just was eating away at my mind. I just couldn't get it out of my head. I couldn't just move past it. 
So, cause I hadn't, you know, addressed it. So it's like uh, eating away at me. I talked to my boss about it and she, um, I mean, she understood my feelings and she was very, you know, kind and understanding, but she also defended the VP saying, oh, I think she's just going through menopause and, you know, mood swings and all that and blah, blah, blah. So basically not taking sides, which is a very professional thing to do. But I ended up just giving my notice because I'm like, I just can't. I, and I told my boss this, direct boss, uh, I can't work for a company where I don't feel like I respect the people I'm working for. Like I didn't respect that woman for the way she acted. But also then I didn't, I mean, I gave my notice to the, the vice president of sales, the other vice president, and um, I didn't say anything about the real reason. I'm like, oh, I'm going to start my nonprofit, which, which I did actually, but that wasn't the reason I was quitting. It was because of the incident that I couldn't get past. So I guess the point is what I've learned from this, and maybe this is something that you can use in your life, is to address these things and find it in yourself. It was extremely difficult for me to speak up for myself, but it would have saved me so much grief, so much internal grief, and then I ended up quitting a really good job that to this day I'm not really sure I should have quit because I think about it and I'm like, that was, I mean, the hours were fantastic. The benefits were really good. I really liked most of the people I was working with. And I only saw that VP like once or twice a year. And you know what, I could have, I had the opportunity to really build a relationship with her and to talk that out and get past it. And we could have bonded over that and it would have been a completely better and different working relationship. But I didn't take that opportunity. I just sort of, I took the easy way out by just like getting out. So, yeah, so anyway, learn from, learn from me if you can take anything from this. And if you're the kind of person like me that's afraid to stand up for yourself, just try to find that in yourself because it can solve so many issues and you'll grow so much from it and benefit long term. That's it for today.